Okay, we're back. I know I said uh, last time I was going to leave this place behind, but I do want to check to see just what I need for level up yet. Let's pop another point into endurance. Okay, it's time to say goodbye to the consecrated snowfield. So there's a few cleanup items that I have on my agenda. And uh, four to be exact. Well, actually five things to be exact. First off, well, maybe six. <laughs> Hold on one second. Let's go back to the table of Lost Grace. All right, first things first, I want to see if I can upgrade any of my summons. I don't know why I wouldn't use anything but the Mimic tier right now, but... Greetings. Are you here for spirit tuning? No, I think he's maxed. Yeah, he's maxed. Never mind. That's not item number one. Item number two. We go over here near the Aeonia Swamp, go to this Cathedral of Dragon Communion. That last great worm that I killed, I want to see what its heart does when I offer it. Dragon Claw, Theodoric's Magma, maybe that's it. Superior Incantation of Dragon Communion Channels the power of the Great Worm Theodrix. Transforms caster into Great Worm to spew a large volume of magma breath. Allows for a follow-up attack. The name of the ancient troll warrior Theodorix lives on as a hero of the war against the giants. Ah, maybe I'll try it. Sure. Oh, jeez. I just ate it. Did it do that last time? Alright. Jeez. Alright. So now it's time to revisit some areas that I punked out on several times before, or before, I should say, uh, because I wasn't strong enough or I just gave up. And um, if you want to view complete walkthroughs of these places, I will link to those videos in the description of this video. But the first place that I need to check into is the Ariza Hero's Grave. We're here. This place is not fun. And uh, I'm just going to fast forward and see you at the boss. Yeah, and then there's a Stake of America here, which is great. Oh. Cheese, cheese, cheese. One down. Pure cheese. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I just re I just wrecked them. Ordovis' greatsword. Crucible Axe Helm. Crucible Axe Armor. Crucible Gauntlets. Crucible Greaves. I just wrecked them, and they weren't even worth that much. Okay, well, <laughs> that's the purpose of doing what I'm doing. I'm just going around and, and cleaning up. That was almost too easy. It was laughably easy. Ordovis's greatsword. Greatsword of Ordovis, one of the two honored as foremost among the Crucible Knights. This sword is imbued with an ancient holy essence. Its red tint exemplifies the nature of primordial gold, said to be close in nature to life itself. Ordovis's Vortex. 
Channel the power of the crucible to spin entire sword in midair, building momentum before slamming the blade down onto the ground. Skill can be charged to increase power. Well, I already got. I got. We got this one. This one is has axe ornamentation of the knight of Ordovis. Of, is the knight Ordovis's mark displayed also by his men? Uh, I got Solaria's mark. Okay. Solaria's. Anyway, I got the crucible tree armor, uh, which I can switch to the crucible axe armor worn by the knight Ordovis and his men. Well, that's that's good enough. I'm uh, moving on. I'd like to go to a place so I can I'm not even using these markers anymore. I'd like to go to a place that confounded me from the moment I saw it. The War Dead Catacombs. I came here after defeating General Star, Star, uh, Star Scourge Radon. Again, I can link the video where I first came here in the description, but the first time I came here, I absolutely got wrecked. I can't remember what level I was, probably somewhere in the 50s. But this place was way over my pay grade at the time, and I'm wondering what it's going to be like today. What am I, level 151? A lot of ghosts. They're fighting each other. I did not want to do that. It's weird. I wonder if I'll even be able to defeat them. Or if they'll actually come back. Are they even going to notice me? Oh, the archer will. About as far as I got last time. He's dead. Look at that. Try rolling. Thank you for the tip. And these guys take some hits still. What is up with that? They don't give that much in the way of runes. Ambush? Where? These guys are ambushing me? Oh yes. Somebody spawned, I think. Foot soldier helm? Maybe not. Oh, there's that down there. I wonder if these are just like ghosts of General Radon's armor. Army. Sorry. What's down this this alley? This courtyard by that statue. I wonder if that's a... Uh... Hmm. Things are dying. Good. <clears throat> I wonder if this is a... Uh... This is my kind of fighting. we got a lone knight here who does not look like a ghost. Here. Oh yeah, you can go down there. Okay. 
And I see a bunch of those stone gargoyles clinging to the walls. This guy's gonna be a problem, I think. I mean, I gotta admit, these guys are tough. Oh, we, they're tough. I got you. Yeah, they're tough. But definitely this place is doable now for me. Alright, so is that a... Statue of America? Not ready to jump down there just yet. Bunch of these dudes. I hate these little buggers. Oh, Jesus, this guy's behind me. Little did I know. I, I do that to your counterparts all the time. Who are these guys fighting, though? Oh, I can get through here. Look at this. Here's the lever. But is this the beginning where I came in? I think it is. I never did go straight. Oh, good. Look at that, Radon Soldier Ashes. Summons two Radon Soldier Spirits. Both war spirits wield fiery weapons to perform powerful skills, such as their valor that they will immediately attack after being summoned. General Radon Soldiers were all reputed to be masterful warriors, and it was popularly said that the Red Mains knew no weakness. Okay, well, what's down here then? Besides more gargoyles. Oh. Pathetic sort? What do you mean by that? Is there another one? Yep, there you are. Where is he? Oh, he's still alive. Is that all of you? Wow. No hidden path. I really don't want to go in here. Because I know what this is. Ah, uh, jeez. Why does it always have to be Scarlet Rot? At least I could sprint in this crap. stand on these mushrooms. These guys are still fighting the, the war.
Oh, you're still up. Oh, I see. You have to clean run armor. All right. Yeah, this is so okay. I know where I'm at now. These guys are just fighting a, f a forever battle here. This is pretty wild. And this just leads right down, yeah, right down the middle. Oh, this is where the boss is. Okay. Well, I want to continue exploring over here first. bunch of stuff going on down here. Oh, why me, dude? You fool. Maybe I'm the fool. I guess that's true. Hey, I'm trying to heal here. I just wanted to see if there was anything else down there worthwhile. This guy unceremoniously just decided to choose me and spear me. Well, there is a chest down here. Have anybody left? Collapsing stars. Alright, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied now. Yeah, these guys just keep spawning. I just want to get out of here now. I'm ready. I need to move on with my day. Now, the question is, can I, can I beat the boss without getting killed? Alright, so what I picked up was another sorcery. Yeah, Collapsing Stars. One of the glintstone sorceries. Okay, fires numerous gravitational projectiles. Any foe struck will be pulled toward the caster. Charging enhances potency. Gravitational technique mastered by the young Radon. I thank you for your tutelage. For now, I can challenge the stars. All right, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a quick healing. I don't really know what to expect in here, but a dog? And this person says, no weak foe. Well, let's check it out for ourselves, shall we? What are we... Oh, man, I hate these things. Dog, nice. can't cheese it because it won't fall down. But you know what you could do? You could actually, you know, maybe like try to use some of your specials on it. Oh, here it goes. Man, I'm just spamming that ability. And it caught me in its mouth. Here comes the rot. Jesus. Caught 
caught him. Why am I not damaging it? Oh, there it goes. We should try to actually do something against it other than spam this attack, but it's just too easy. Red May Knight Oga and another Golden Seed, so maybe I can actually do something now that I have three seeds. Okay, that's another good good deed done. Alright. Spirit of a mighty knight versed in the use of the great bow. Valiant warrior who will attack immediately after being summoned. The longest serving member of the Red Bane Knights, Oga studied techniques to manipulate gravity alongside Radon. May use a rain of gravitational arrows in response to war cry, but only once. And I got a I got a ton of runes for that. All right, well, let's level up. I think I'm going to need, what, 160-some thousand? Faith. All right, this is going to be... Okay, so I'm going to actually clear that one as well. So that does that. I think next time I am going to go back to Lendel, and I'm going to go back into the sewers and see if I can find... Uh, the Dung Eater, as well as see what was past all of those omen down there. I should have a better grasp on fighting them now that I'm a little bit more powerful. Also, a commenter recently told me maybe I should start, I should go back and talk to Fia again. So, probably handle that in the next one. Until then, thanks for watching.